Hello and welcome to the NICU here at UI Health. My name is Hernan, a neonatologist here in the NICU. I will take the next couple of minutes to show you around our unit and introduce you and your family to the NICU to help you learn more about navigating the unit and to give you more information on the many ways we strive to support you and your family. We are working hard to provide high quality and friendly care. We begin in the lobby of UA Health. After checking in at the front desk and showing a valid ID, you will receive a pink visitor's tag. This tag will give you access to the nursery. Parents and visitors to the NICU have 24-7 access to the unit. If you are visiting the NICU after 8.30 p.m., you may enter through the emergency room entrance. For the protection of your baby and other babies in the unit, the nursery is a locked unit. When you exit the elevator, you will see a door with an intercom to your right. Look into the camera and press the button, and you will be greeted by our unit clerk. Thank you, Dr. Can I help you? Hi, it's Mom Thomas. I'm here to see my baby. Okay, Mom Thomas, you may come in. The clerk will unlock the doors to our floor. Once you pass through the doors, you will make a left to find the entrance to the NICU. Look into the camera again and press the intercom button once again for the clerk to unlock the doors to the unit. Mom Thomas. Hi, Mom Thomas. You may come in. Welcome to the NICU. Parents and guests sign in and out at the front desk. It's visit. Hi, Mom Thomas. How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Please sign in first. The clerk can assist you in obtaining a locker. This is to store all of your belongings, including coats and bags. In order to reduce infection, we try to limit the number of items from outside the unit that comes into contact with your baby's care area. After you place your items in the locker, our clerk will show you where you can scrub in. Each time you come to the NICU, you will remove all watches and rings and thoroughly wash your hands and forearms. Once you have scrubbed in, you will be shown to your baby's bedside. We ask that you only have two visitors at the bedside at a time to help minimize noise and allow our staff to easily access your baby in case of an emergency. One of the people at the bedside must be wearing a guardian ID band. Two guardians will be identified and provided with an ID band. Visitors can only see your baby if they are accompanied by someone with a guardian ID band. Your baby will be located either in the neonatal intensive care unit, NICU, or in the intermediate care nursery, ICN. Let's take a look at the NICU first. UI Health is a training center in newborn individualized developmental care and assessment a type of NICU care that recognizes that each baby is unique and does best when medical care is flexible and meets their needs in the moment. Our developmental specialists, occupational and physical therapists, will work with you to understand the meaning of your baby's behavior. They can help you learn to calm your baby and lessen their stress during their NICU stay, which then promotes better growth and development. One thing we do know is that your baby's growth is best when you are here with them and caring for them, so we encourage you to be here every day if possible. Babies that come to the NICU generally need a little extra help breathing, eating, and keeping the temperature warm. The babies can come to the nursery for many different reasons. Your baby needs more than just medical care. They need to be comforted through skin-to-skin -skin contact. You are welcome to stay at the bedside at all times. To make your stay more comfortable, we have recliners, pillows, and blankets. You can give your baby a hand hug by sliding your clean hands through the portholes on the side of the bed. Your baby knows your smell and voice and will love for you to lay your hands over their head and trunk. Always be sure to close the porthole doors when you are no longer hugging your baby. This is the screen that shows us your baby's vital signs. Your baby's information will appear on the right side of the screen. When looking at your baby's vital signs, you will see that the first green number at the top of the screen is your baby's heart rate. Based on your baby's age, different numbers can be acceptable. The middle yellow number is the respiratory rate, or how fast your baby is breathing. Both the heart rate and respiratory rate are measured by leads 
or stickers placed on your baby's chest. The blue number shows the oxygen saturation or the percentage of oxygen in your baby's blood. This number is measured by sensor and red light that can be found on your baby's feet or hands. The last white numbers that you will see are your baby's blood pressure. For all of your baby's vital signs, the goal range may vary based on your baby's age and medical condition. You may also see a ventilator. These devices are here to help your baby breathe. It can offer support through a breathing tube or a cannula placed in your baby's nose. Other common pieces of equipment that you may see are the IV pumps and pole. These allow us to provide fluid and medications to your baby. Here, we can see the medical team making their daily rounds. Every day, the doctors will visit each baby's bedside to discuss their progress and plan for the day. Daily rounds are a great time to ask any questions that you may have for the doctors. We encourage you to write down all questions as they arise so that you will have them readily available during daily rounds and we can make sure that none of your questions get missed. At the front desk, you may find a family support calendar for the month. This lists activities open to you and your family. Activities and groups offer families the opportunity to celebrate your baby's NICU milestones, as well as place to meet and receive support from other families experiencing the NICU journey. Now that we have taken a short look at the NICU, let's head back towards the Intermediate Care Nursery, or the ICN. This area is generally for babies that need a little less help. On the way to the ICN, you will pass the bright space for NICU families. All of the members of your family are important to us and your baby. If your other children need a break, we encourage you to bring them to the bright space to play. We welcome siblings three years and older with a copy of their vaccination record to come and visit. However, during cold and flu season, additional restrictions may apply to make sure that the flu does not spread to your new baby. As we continue down the hall, we reach ICN. For your first visit, the clerk or charge nurse will show you to your baby's bedside. You may find that a new band has appeared around your baby's ankle. This is a security band that adds an extra layer of protection when your baby moves from an incubator to a crib. In this room, you can see one of our many volunteers. Volunteers in the nursery have been screened by the hospital and are specially trained to help soothe your baby when you cannot be at your baby's side. You may also see them offering comfort and support while the nurse does their assessment or completes a procedure. You can recognize a volunteer by their special polo shirt. In addition to patient rooms, there are a few other resources available to you in this area. Because breast milk is the best milk for your babies, we have a pumping room at the end of the hall where moms can pump in private. You can also use a pump at your baby's bedside, shielded by a privacy screen, because moms who do this typically make more milk than moms who pump in a pumping room. We will provide you with support when you start to pump or breastfeed, bottles for milk storage, labels for those bottles, and a place to store a whole tub of your milk for your baby. Breastfeeding is a personal experience and we will work with you to find the best option for you. We have amazing lactation consultants available to meet with you throughout your baby's stay in the nursery. If you do choose to bottle feed your baby, please bring in a bottle that you will be using at home as soon as your baby starts to eat. This will give your baby time to adjust to the bottle that you will be using and allow us time to evaluate if your baby needs a different kind of bottle. We are here to support you and your baby no matter what you choose to feed your baby. If you have any questions or concerns, please ask your nurse or any member of your baby's therapy team. On the other side of the hall is a parent room. This is a room where you can take a break, take calls, eat your meals, or just relax. As we head back out of the unit, we stop again at the front desk to sign out. As you leave, you will see the clerk or charge nurse. Please let them know if you would like any additional information about these programs or resources. We aim to provide a better quality of life for you and your baby and to have better outcomes in the future. Thank you for choosing the Children's Hospital at UI Health. Let us know if there is anything that we can do to support you throughout your stay with us.